Hi, welcome to Prototype Lab. This is a World War II mission in one of the bunkers, and there's a beautiful green quad bike right near, nearby. Uh, this is a super dark mission. I would play it at night, uh, not during the day like I did, where you can't see anything, and I will ramp up the brightness for you uh, in a second. But you pick that up and go, ooh, I recognise that. It's Abstergo, I think. But this is what the brightness is like normally. Check the mini-map for those yellow squares. They're going to help you find the fragments. And like a complete moron, I only realised that right at the end when I was on the last one, having spent almost an hour in here running around looking for the documents. Anyway, there's about eight guards in here uh, in this first section. You drop down there. That's the only way down. And then first of all, you want to pick this guy off. He'll take a walk downstairs. And there are two guys down here, so be careful. Um, I think there's only one guard in the whole place, and boy, I couldn't be more wrong. In fact, you can see that other guy on the right there. I just failed to do any kind of preparation or looking. But even though he's right there, apparently, and I've just jumped on his friend and stabbed him in the head, apparently that's not enough for him to notice me. Whereas, when I go up these stairs, and I'm just poking my head around, these guys see me for doing almost nothing. But uh, there we are, you know, such is life. So it turns into basically a big old firefight instead of a stealthy stealthy, but it's not so bad. So those three guys there, the two guys down below, there's one guy coming round on a uh, walkway now. You can see him on the mini-map sort of, uh, but he's there. And then there are two guys up the stairs to the left at the back there, you can just see them. Um, but I'll make my way slowly up there and deal with them in a second. Now, as I said, look to the mini-map for clues to where these documents are. That will definitely help you, but I'll also show you uh, here. But this mission really annoyed me, just because it's so dark, and quite why you don't get your torch out is beyond me. I mean, okay, fine, stealthing, but like once you've killed everyone, can't you get your torch out? Because I had to change this brightness post-processing. I had to add it after the event. You saw when I had the mini-map out how dark it was normally. Anyway, loot those guys, or well, not, it's up to you. Uh, there's cash lying around, there's loads of ammo lying around, and that's the lift that you need to take up at the end, and it's, ugh, it's, it's really buggy, this mission, too. I don't know who built it, but it's not well designed. Anyway, the first document is here, round the back, by some C4. There it is. Uh, but I will show you from the start now how to get them all, rather than have three hours condensed into ten minutes of me running around like a moron. So in a second we'll cut back to the beginning where you drop down here, and I'll show you where they all are in relation to that. So you go up those first set of stairs, and that's the first one that we just picked up. Then carry on around here where I had that big firefight, and there's one just here on the right, uh, there. Boom, boom. See, that's where the guy was on the walkway, so there. Then you jump across here. There's actually a few ways to get onto this, but jump across onto this middle section. Then you have to duck to get under there, and there's the third fragment is there. And you can also get off this way. And then the fourth fragment is right back at the beginning, but it's the one I haven't got yet, and I wasn't sure what would happen when I picked it up. But it's through here in a broken, through a like broken gate and in the back wall there. And then see how the thing is going, the lift is out of power. The lift is out of power. The lift is out of power. Every time I went into the lift, it's logged the fact that it's out of power, and now it's telling me. Anyway, you come in here, and you find a button here on a console. And the lift is just there to the left where the arrow's pointing, but I didn't notice it because it's just started electrocuting me for no reason I can understand. So I'm like, well, I just clearly need to get away from the area, right, because I'm being electrocuted. But everywhere I go, it's electrocuting me, and eventually I'll speed it up now, but eventually I die because I haven't worked out what to do. And it's just like, what, really? That, that is not, what? And so anyway, that's the lift. The lift is out of power. Uh, push that button and then run to the lift. And the reason I didn't work out what I was supposed to be doing is because I'd been in the lift previously, it didn't show me where the lift was explicitly. And because I was panicking over the electrocution, I didn't spot the arrow. Anyway, through here, crouch underneath, you're going to get electrocuted, whatever happens, run over there. And then here, I got electrocuted by stepping in the water there. So watch out for that. Just walk down the boards. Make sure you've got lots of green plants when you come in here too. Slide under that, and then you're round here. There's three guys up these stairs, so be careful. Um, there's one. Kabloom! There's another. Fortunately, they've both got their backs turned. And then there's one more. I forget exactly where. There he is. 
Are we going to get him? Yeah, just shoot him, I guess. No? What am I doing here? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so I run up to try and get a takedown, and the goddamn scenery gets in the way, which is just frustrating. Anyway, you open this, and nothing happens. And it says, checkpoint met, go find the documents in lab two. And it's like, well, where do I go now? There's, it doesn't appear to be an obvious solution, right? And uh, so I turn around and think, well, well, maybe I just go in here. Maybe that's a lift. Um, and it's not until you actually, oh, sorry, I'm not going to get in there yet. But it's not until you actually get in that thing, which isn't a lift, by the way. It's just nothing. Um, the, the, the door for the next section opens. And then you've got to drop down on your own here. I assume, I don't know, it's just not made clear. And there's still stuff electrocuted, but apparently now it doesn't kill you. I don't know why. Uh, but then head round to here, some doors will have opened here, and there's a few new guys to deal with. Um, but I didn't really know where they were, and I kind of went in a little bit boldly. So I get this guy, and then everyone else sees me and opens up on me. And uh, I died. Eventually you'll see the death. And, um, or maybe I cut it, I don't know. But you end up, uh, it starts you right back, or right here, essentially, where some guys are coming up immediately. Uh, these guys come up the stairs immediately, see you, and a firefight starts. So you've got no option to be stealthy, and if you wait too long, you're just going to get shot in the face. So I just ended up chucking a bunch of grenades in to deal with them. You've got two snipers up there on the back, uh, and about four or five guys down below. It's just hideous. Um, but yeah, no, so if you die, watch out, and until you leave the area now, if you die, you'll start back here. Um, so no matter how many document fragments you picked up, no matter how many people you killed, no matter what you've done, uh, you'll die. Anyway, you'll see here I've made it dark again, there's one um, document fragment up here, and this one took me forever to find, because I didn't realise the yellow was anything useful. But head up those stairs where the snipers were, and you'll find document number one. Or document fragment number one. Then carry on along here, slide under there, or crawl under. There's a ladder here, and in the next room you've got five guys plus a sniper. Uh, the first one is here, just behind this pipe. He'll quite often be looking your way, so I use a rock to distract him. He'll come around here and be like, what's that rock? So you can just get him in the back. The next guy is just over there, and I use a series of rocks to tease him over. So the first rock there, second one there, he keeps moving, third one, fourth one fifth one. And he'll eventually come around there and you can just take him down easily. Uh, there's another guy you can do the same with, but I got bored uh, and I shot him instead. You'll see in a second. Or no, I didn't get bored. He, he somehow spotted me, even though I haven't seen him or uh, done anything. Like He's already seen me at this point and he's going like, why is there a body there? What body? What body can you see, dude? You can't see any bodies. Uh, there's another guy there and one more on the ground plus a sniper up high. There's a guy on the ground. There we go, bloom, and then the sniper is up there, you'll recognise him by his laser sight there. Um, so deal with them, carry on up here, and you've got uh, another fragment, there's a bunch of ammo too. You've got another fragment up here, you may have just seen it flashing on the ground, but you want to go up these steps and then drop down here to get it. You'll take damage, but whatever, there's medical kits lying around everywhere. Uh, use that and then turn around, there's some vines to clean up, and he goes, ah, oh, I've got the fourth one. And as I do, by any stretch of the imagination, that's not the fourth one, but pff, whatever. Uh, then up here there's a little box with a sniper you can loot, that's where the sniper was, doll's head. Yeah. And then you want to carry on around here towards the final yellow section. And it's in here, and there's two guys in here, so be careful. Um, they will see you... I. The first couple of times I came here, I managed to stealth okay, but I just got bored, frankly, with two of them and shoot them in the face, whatever. Um, that's the third document fragment, and you get a uh, code to the lift, 122112. A really complicated code. But anyway, uh, there's a few little bits and pieces to loot as well. as some cash and ammo and stuff. And then you want to come out of here and head to the right. And this room has a bunch of mean people in it. It's got a charger, three normal guys, and a body armor dude. Uh, I take that guy in the back, I use his knife to kill his friend. The other guys have seen me, so all I do is cook some grenades and just toss them in. And what I'm going for, there's one guy down, um, is to try and take out the body armor guy with grenades. Uh, I think I get him with the next one. But if you tick, tick, tick four, then let it go. There we go. Multi-kill. 
Uh, tick, tick, tick. Let it tick four times, then chuck it. It generally explodes after one bounce, and it doesn't give people time enough to get away. Anyway, there's one charger left. He's down, and you can just... Uh, sorry, I stopped to loot a little bit. You can just run to the end and activate the lift. There we go. And just hold X to interact, and you will punch in the code. And that is pretty much that. You are on your way out. Mission accomplished. But yeah, just this weird, dark, annoying mission. Largely annoying because I guess I didn't understand properly how it works and missed the yellow targets. But uh, I hope you do better and I hope this video helps you a little bit. Okay, speak to you later. Lots of love. Bye. And we're golden. Girls.